Hi, everyone. So Clavio just released a new tool inside their analytics tab, which is about benchmarking. How do benchmark work? Well, first off, you have to have sent at least 25 emails with this account, otherwise it won't be available. Secondly, it automatically determines what your industry and vertical or your position in that industry is. If you go below to the bottom uh, here and how you choose your peer group, you can change your industry. And here you will get this new option at the bottom, which is the industry and the vertical. So right now we have apparel and accessories and the vertical could be active wear, fast fashion, hats, footwear or other. I think this yeah. should be a task for the account managers to identify the right industry and vertical for a client. After that has been done, you can go to analytics and you will be shown information pertaining your, your account compared to your peers. What is your peers group? Your peers group is comprised of 100 companies that Clavio determined that it's similar to yours. Either they, most of them or all of them will be in the same industry as you, and most of them should be in the same vertical. If they, if there aren't enough enough people in that vertical with the same stats, within the same parameters as you, you will be assigned. The client will be assigned similar peers. You will be assigned to a group that is similar to yours. Uh, that's the that's important thing because we cannot do anything else. Uh, Clavio will do this automatically. Uh, how do you fare to them? Well, we have three three tabs in the overview, three, three main tables. The, this is the best performing indicators. This is These are the best indicators this account has compared to those in the industry. And the worst performing indicators, these are the worst performing indicators for this account within, within that peer group. And this is how the peer group was selected. They sent in, they sent 72% of the time or of the month of, of, of this period, they sent a campaign and how they fall within the same peer group. What's the average item value? And what's the average item value of the peer group? What's the email revenue percentage and some and some withdrawal rate and revenue per month? And the average revenue per, percentage it's again higher than the peer group so now to the stats in the best performing indicators you will get some status poor fair good and excellent being in the 20, there are four categories you can follow upon one is 0 to 25 which is the, the lowest you are at the bottom of your peer comparison peer group and 75 to 100 percentile is that you are at the top 25 percent of that of that of that peer group well, you have your open rates, conversion rate. These stats will be selected according to your best and worst stats. And campaign performance and full performance are excellent in, within these parameters. Quite good in these flows. These are the worst performing flows in the example. It's not only the flows, this also, it also checks the campaigns and the business performance, which is uh, uh, has to do with sales, within repeated purchases, and uh, average items in their cart. But here, within this group, this is the bottom open rate, the welcome series flow in at the bottom of their peer reward, their peer comparison group. So why is it important for me? Because you can say in what you are excelling, what is your the best the strength of a client and where they are lacking. Uh, you can go back and say, hey, what what when what happened in November, which is the case that this isn't performing uh, very good. Why is the open rate in the welcome series flow this bad? You can arrange your strategy accordingly. Secondly, the second part of the video is business performance. So here you are compared to your group and the industry. Again, the peer group. All of them will belong to the industry, but they are not all the industry. So the industry is, uh, so this is the, where you are standing, how good you are, 
And the industry is the average of all of the industry, not only your Peter group. We have $37, while the average order value in the industry is $85. So the, the question here is, how can we push up to $85? You know, you, we can use cross-sell flows, uh, cross-sell campaigns with uh, more aggressive segmentation within this. And you can do the same for average card size, average order count, and average order value. So average card size. Uh, the average card size is the number of items within the card. Uh, yeah, so even though we are selling more products in average than the industry, somehow we are getting uh, less average order value. So we have to keep pushing there. And you have the number of orders returned, average order count, which is the number of uh, orders. Uh, the average order count is the average number of orders a client made within this period. In business performance, we get about the same. We have we follow the same recipient from the overview channel at the review tab, which is how you are standing. Poor is top, bottom 25, average is 50, fair is 25 to 50, good is 50 to 75, and excellent is 75 to 100. So the business performance here it could improve. You have the in what position you are, what your your value of all the of all the orders in November 0.54% were returned. And uh, well, that's good. You're on the, uh, 53 location. Uh, how is it compared to the rest? The, you can create different strategies per month according to this. So my suggestion will be. Uh, at the end of the month, take a look at this, see where we are lacking, try to improve that. If we are lacking in open rates, try to improve the, the segmentation and the subject lines, for example. If you are lacking in people coming, not clicking through the email, opening the email but not clicking, so as check the content. Is this the right content for this right segment? For the right segment, you know, uh, we have this direct message at the right moment to the right person. Well, was it the right message at the right moment to the right person? Yeah, you can you can take your own conclusion from from here. And we have again the comparison of how you were chosen, how we were added to this peer group, which is the same of the overview section. So business is about sales, number of orders, average item in cards, and returns. The campaign performance as well as the flow performance, go for open rate, click rate, click through rate, conversion rate, and even email revenue per recipient. The open rate, it's calculated of, of all the universe of emails sent, how many of them were open. The click rate, it's of all the universe of emails sent, how many were clicked. And the click through rate is of all the, of all the emails that were open, how many of them did click in the email. It's, it's a bit different from the click rate. The click through rate is always going to be higher than the click rate. Otherwise, these numbers is not good. It's not calculated properly. And the conversion rate is of all the emails that were sent, how many ended up in a purchase. And the email revenue per recipient is calculated if of all the sales done by this by the campaigns divided by the number of emails sent. So this number, what you're trying to know by this number is if I increase my email list by one, how much more could I gain? So this is 38 cents. That's how much each each subscriber is worth when you send an email. Here you can see about the numbers below and compare between them. And delivery perform the deliverability performance, how this is doing. So you can see that the spam report rate and the unsubscribe rate is higher. Than, well, it's not higher, it's just that need some improvement and this also has to do with the aggressive segmentation as long as people is, the, is being delivered content that they like they will not unsubscribe or report as a spam and yeah how you compare to the segment and the industry we are looking at unsubscribe rate which is only fair and let's take a look at it here unsubscribe rate so this is how it looks it's better than the industry but is worse than the peer group. So that's how you, should, you can read it. And flow performance. We, we take a look at almost the same stats as, 
as the campaign section, but we have additional valuable information here. So overall flow performance is of all the sum of all the active flows right now, how are they faring? So our flows could use some improvement here. You see how they, they are compared to the industry. So if, if we thought we were doing good, now we know that there are like a really open space for improvement. And we can see these numbers uh, divided by the top four or the most top, the four most important flows that for basic basic flow, which is the welcome series, the abandoned card, and the browse abandonment flow. Uh, the thank you flow is the post purchase flow. So again, the welcome flow, you can see in what, it is do, what it is doing correctly and where can it improve. And we have the same information for the abandoned card flow, the gross abandonment flow, and the post purchase flow. If we were going to give maintenance to, to a client, or at least what we could is deliver and study to the client, so we can maybe make a bigger contract with them to say, okay, what we created at the beginning or what you had right now uh, needs to change. We, we have a lot of room and we already know what's working, what's not working, and we would like to start continue doing more for you. And we would really like to start with the welcome series flow, where we believe that we have to redo the content. We have to redo everything here. So this, this was Clavio's Christmas gift to us. Make it great, make it better for everyone. Thank you for staying this long <laughs> for this video. and. Well, let's start playing with this. Um, I'm excited to see what changes this could bring.